Hey guys, today I'm here to show you how to make your own homemade ice maker. Um, we do a lot of offshore fishing, got tired of always scrambling for ice, and looking into ice machines, um, ice machines that pr produce a lot of ice are going to be around between $2,800 to over a little over four grand, depending on what system that you have, and then you got to find a place to put them. So today we're here to show you how to make an ice maker um, that produces plenty of ice with just a standard side-by-side -side refrigerator. Okay. Um, what we did here is you take a standard side-by-side -side refrigerator and you'll, we put a trash can in it and obviously you're going to take out your bins here uh, on your door and what we do here is we take it, all, obviously alter a little bit, but you'll take your ice maker and cut the bottom out. Uh, you can use a Dremel for this, we used a Dremel, but um, you can use a Dremel router. Uh, if you don't have one of those, you can even use a uh, little handheld concrete saw. Uh, that'll cut it out. So there's not too much to um, the alteration in this here, but um, once you cut the bottom of that out there, um, you'll leave the ice maker on obviously, and this takes about uh, three and a half to four weeks to produce this much ice, but it is a lot of ice, and uh, what we do is we just bag it up, and uh, we have an ice chest out back there that uh, behind the house and, and the porch that we just bag the ice in. Um, you can get these bags, uh, I bought these at Amazon, but you can get standard bags, they're not expensive, and we just fill these up, um, and we have plenty of ice stored out there. Uh, when you have enough ice, you obviously just shut the machine off, so, because it'll produce ice until you, until you do shut it off. Now, I'm going to step further over here to show you this. Um, I put a little lock on this one. The last one I had out here um, produced so much ice, I forgot to shut it off, and what it'll do is it'll kick your door open. So, um... I put this one here on uh, because if you forget to shut it off, it's going to produce, uh, keep producing ice, and sometimes when there's too much in there, it will pop your door open. So that's just a little safety feature there so you don't uh, ruin your refrigerator and keep it running all day. The plus side of this is if you, uh, uh, obviously this is out in our garage, as you can see, but you've got two, uh, two refrigerators, and um, if you ever do want to alter this back to the standard just going to a freezer, um, let's say you're not going to use the ice anymore. Or anything like that, it's pretty easy to do. Um, what you'll do is you just obviously just simply put your racks back on, put your shelves back in, and you'll take this bin back here off, and um, you can just get a piece of aluminum or stainless steel. I obviously recommend stainless steel screws, and you'll just drill your pinholes, uh, six screws, uh, three screws on each side. You'll put your cover back on, and then you've got your ice maker uh, back intact again. So again, alterations, not too much on this. It did take us too long to do this, but it does, it does produce plenty of ice for you. And um, it works really well, as you can see. Um, so this standard refrigerator here costs around, uh, you've got it for around 1100 bucks on sale. Obviously this is a newer model because my old one was so old. Um, it did start, stop working, but um, it's not expensive to do this project. So it's something that you can do uh, you can use it for fishing, you can use it for uh, parties, if you have a bunch of parties and stuff like that, it's great to have plenty of ice. So, something simple, um, keep in mind, like I said, if you, if you uh, want to change it back, you can change it back. But I appreciate it guys, please comment below if you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks.